Hey everyone, welcome back everyone to the UMass Football Career Mode. And also, our very first video for 2022. So again, I hope you all had a great New Year's and a Happy New Year to you all. It is Monday, January the 3rd. January the 3rd, Monday. Hope you all are having a great Monday. I hope you all enjoyed your New Year's and to be with them and saw the ball drop. It was a really, really good one. So, again, I hope you all enjoyed the bowl games this week when Ohio State and Utah played against each other. And I just got done watching that Ohio State game. The about time recording this video right now, it is a Saturday for me. So, you guys will see this video on Monday. So, I hope you all are having a good one, guys. So, guys, so we are playing in UMass. So, we're playing against, in, I think it's Miami. Yeah, Miami University Red Hawks. They're 1-4, and, and we're 4-1. and one. Again, if you are new, make sure you all do hit that red subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications, which is the bell. Click on, then you'll be notified when we upload a video. So today, we are doing the UMass Football Career Modes for the MAC MAC Conference. So, without further ado, you all, we're about ready to get started. Now, before we get into this, there is one thing I, I do want to say. My heart and condolences go out to Betty White and her family at this difficult time. Of course, everybody has heard about it. Betty White passed away at the age of 99. If she would have just been here for two more extra weeks, she would have turned 100 years old. My heart and condolences and prayers go out to Betty White's family and at this time. Like Betty White, like, like, Betty White, like she said... When, 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 I can't talk. When, when she, when, when it was her turn, she wanted to be with her late husband, which was also a game host. I can't, there was an old show that I actually watched. Oh, man, I couldn't remember what, what her old husband was on. Man, it was that show that you guess what it means, but you can't say it or whatever. I can't remember what that thing was called. Anyway, but anyway, my heart and condolences and thoughts and prayers go out to Betty White's family at this time. But yeah, so we are playing against that. And guys, we're on week seven. So anyway, I wanted to go ahead and say that my heart and condolences and thoughts and prayers goes out to Betty White's family at this time. And man, that is just sad to see. But she's happy because she's now getting to be with her husband now and the man upstairs. So... Anyway, I just wanted to say that. But anyway, right now, everyone, so without further ado, you all, let's get started with the UMass Football Career Mode. Let's hop on into it. All right, that's how everybody's stats looks right there. There's ours. There's theirs. Any injuries? Oh, man, yeah, they got one, two. They got three injuries to be determined four weeks and two weeks. And we have none. All right, let's go. Presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. The Minutemen are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Looks like the update won the coin toss. All right, we'll take the ball first. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Here we go, our first video for 2022. He's to the 20. He's got the corner. Out. Out. A team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact that you throw the ball. 
that's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, play action pass with this running game. You get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. We'll take it. In second and four to go. Ball in the 30. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Yep, I'm afraid so we do. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. They'll call a timeout here to avoid a delay of game penalty. I really did not want to take that. But I had no choice there. He's going to try and scramble. Quick strike and he drops it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Are you kidding me? Miller is back awaiting the punt. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Nice try. From their own 43 yard line. It's first down. They have to watch the play clock here. Up the middle for a nice game. Stewart gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 47 yard line. Second down. Third down and one now. We'll have to figure this out. Short yardage situation here. Third and one. First quarter right there, that's it. We played one. No score here. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. We'll take it. First and ten. Ball on twenty-four. Here's the halfback. Gets out to about the twenty-one. Just keep going. From the twenty-one yard line, it's second down. Her down. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Play fake. Look at the run. Off balance and they can't connect. 
Kane dropped another ball. Crap. UMass is looking to go up by three. It's up. And it is good. We'll take it. It's set to kick this mm. one away. All right. Two minutes and 14 seconds left in the second quarter. See how they are. And he's taken down at the 31. They took a time. They took a yellow bar there on the bottom. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. All right, now we're about to stop him here. They got a minute 50 left. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Let's get 
this is credit to the big boys up front. They held off the blitz just long enough for the quarterback to make the connection and pick up some good yards. Throws in a hurry. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got in with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Almost made that. We were close. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. up maybe five yards on the draw play. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Mm -mm. Just a minute left, but it's going to cost them five yards. Ouch. Receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. Oh, 25 yard line. It's third down. He lets it fly. Drops it. Well, that was a really tough drive for the Solomons. You gotta believe the offensive coordinator really the entire offensive staff. They're going to try to huddle up with this offense, try to make sure everybody's on the same page, try to forget about that last drive, let's try to find some confidence and try to establish something here in this next series. I'm surprised that last one we did not get past in turns. Echo May sets the 45. When he made the decision to return the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. The boy did it vanish in a hurry. Still, he got something out of it. So they're just about set to get the game going again. UMass has a three-point lead. He's in the corner. At the 30. And down he goes. Around the 24-yard line. 31 yards. Well, that one was good. We'll take it. Wow, only game one. We got a third and six here. Ball on the 20 yard line. UMass is up by three. Ouch. From the 13 yard line. First down. They'll need to hurry to get 
this off. Nice run up the middle. Stewart picks up about seven yards on the run. That's all right. We'll take another touchdown. This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He makes the BAT. A nice six-play, 56-yard run. And they come away with a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big runs. So our score, 17 seconds. Sends it sailing downfield. Yeah, he's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to put the ball away the last time they had it. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Quick throw. He's taken down at the 36. And this is not good news. This is a very serious injury. Yeah, it looks like they're quarterback. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Yep, it was their quarterback. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. I'll be fine if that was the end of the third quarter. I'll be fine with that. That's the end of the third quarter. That's the end of three quarters to play. This one's a little tighter than the experts thought. 17-7, minute man. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They don't. Got an opening. Makes it out to about the 10. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Yep. Crap, I thought we had it. Quarterback update, he's going to be out for 10 weeks. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down and goal. Here we go, third and goal from the three-yard line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Crap, that didn't work. Ah. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this halfback is automatic. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. It was an eight play, 74 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drop. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drop. Lewis, he up at the goal line, comes down for the 17 yard line. Well, it's not what we want, it's done. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. UMass holds a field goal lead. They give to the tailback. Executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. 
We'll take it. We'll take it. Take some time off this clock. Well, I guess Miami decided to take a timeout. Really? They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. We got to get the first down Just here. Just over two minutes in the game. And he's taken down right the four of the yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. We have just over two minutes to go, and now in a punting situation, there'll be a decent amount of time to move the ball down the field and get some points. <sighs> what? Yo, Gus, we're going for it. Everybody's going to think I'm stupid, but we're gone for it. Miami, you made a mistake. Like I said, you're not messing with us. Nope. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. They're all out. I'm going to keep this in bounds. We'll take it. From the four yard line, it's second down. Miami needs to get off the clock. We'll take more time off the clock. Short yardage situation here. Third and one. I said this right here will be the last and final play. I think we'll just run one more just for a quick measure. Yeah. When he came. And he's tackled at the 25. There we go. That's it. This game is now over. UMass and staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14. That is it. 17 to 14. We'll take it. Some of these are just pictures are just weird. And here's other football scores. All right, we're still not ranked yet. But we're 5 and 1, so we're going to be going to week 8 the next time we do this. We're going to be playing against Buffalo. Not the Buffalo Bills in the NFL, not that. It's a some kind of college. So we'll be playing against them the next time we do it. So I appreciate you all. Thank you all again so much for watching. Again, if you are new, make sure you guys hit that red subscribe button. First video of the kickoff of January of 2022. Anyway, thank you all guys. Uh, we'll see you all Wednesday with a NASCAR Heat 5 from New Hampshire. And then Friday we will have NASCAR Dirt Today Tona Career Mode. And anyway, thank you all again so much. You all stay safe out there, and we'll see you all on Wednesday. Take care.